Hey guys, back here out on the 65. Gonna do a little work to it today. I did get it uh, driving a lot nicer, kind of dialed in the timing a little bit more, adjusted with the idle air speed on the carb. And then the biggest thing I did was somebody had ran PCV on both sides and ran it to the port on the back of the carb. Uh, well, what that was doing was that was creating basically too much of a vacuum leak on the carburetor, and the carburetor would never idle down. The lowest it would idle would probably be a thousand or nine hundred. It just would not go down. No matter what I did, I'd adjust the idle mixture screws. That screw on the throttle blade would be all the way out, and you know, being an automatic, it would just slam in the gear. So, I was kind of curious if it was drawing too much vacuum through those PCVs. So, I just got a couple Edelbrock push-in breathers to match the Edelbrock valve covers and intake. And, poof, magic. Put a big uh, vacuum plug on the back. And it idles. Perfect now. Uh, I did uh, have to adjust, I don't know why, on this one and the carb on that 60 F250 I worked on, they're both the same 600 Street Warrior Holly carbs. Man, those screws for um, the on choke idle, I mean, this, these they would both rev out to like 3000 RPM when the choke would be on. So they both, you know, I had to back the screws way out. So now it's probably 1200, 1400 RPM on choke, and then goes back to probably about 7, 800 off choke. Makes it much more enjoyable to drive. So today what I'm gonna do is these tires, although they look pretty good, they are at least 22 years old. They are flat spotted pretty decently this rear one loses air after about five days this one loses air in about half a day and the fronts aren't too bad so last night on marketplace I found these bullet style torque thrust style 17s off of a 2000 GT and they all hold air. The tread's not super great but it's better than what I got so first thing I'm gonna do I do need to clean them up. Oh dang. I need to uh, if these wheels fit right and they work right and I'm happy with how they look I will probably, since this one's actually, that lip is actually broke and peeled back, you can get a reconditioned wheel for like 120 bucks. So I'd probably just keep this one as a spare and get a new rim. This one's got a little, a little whammy in it, but I'm not worried about that. I can pop the bead back, heat that up, and then that should come right back out, no big deal. But since that one's actually cracked, it does hold air, and where the tire actually seals is not, is not, you know, hindered there. It's literally just a little protective lip that's broken, so, but still. I probably wouldn't be able to get that to straighten out, plus there'd always be that crack there, plus just safety's sake, just replace that one, but I mean for 150 bucks for four wheels and tires, and I can drive, you know, I can drive on that for now, did go to the, uh, went down and got in the zone, <laughs> got some lug nuts, some half by 20s, and then if these wheels fit right and if I like them, I'm going to go kind of the 
darker graphite here on the center because this seems a lot silverier a lot more silver than I would like it to be I'd like it to be darker like the original mag style torque thrust I'd leave the outer edge polished but painted on the inside so I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up let you hear it run real quick and then I'm gonna pull it in the garage jack it up and make sure these wheels fit make sure they don't rub set you down here and fire it up real quick Still got a little bit of exhaust rattle on it, but it's not bad. So yeah, I'll get it pulled in and get these wheels off. All right. Well, it's on there. It is. Pretty close to that leaf spring. And I'm not gonna be able to show it, but there's it's almost touching back there as well. And if you notice, the tires tucked back quite a bit. So this wheel can actually come out. Which I'm kind of surprised that these wheels do that because the 94 to 04 Mustangs have a deeper offset and then the 05 and newer the offset is farther out so I figured these would be dished in more which obviously would bring that out a little bit I'll show you what I'm talking about from the rear See how that tire is kind of almost in line with that body. And this one, the wheel's tucked in quite a bit. I wasn't expecting that. Not really the end of the world. I uh, kind of actually planned on putting a explore disc brake rear axle on or maybe a 88 disc brake out of a mustang like 94 to 04. just wanted to show you guys quick putting these wheels on i'm just kind of checking everything over while i'm in here and it looks like somebody was doing a pretty good job of keeping this thing you know, maintained and taken care of. Looks like the control arm here is new. Obviously a new KYB gas shock. I mean, looks like the lower control arm has been painted. Looks like all the ball joints are pretty good. There was some steering components in the trunk, so I'm wondering if some of these are due I didn't really open all the boxes and see. One thing I did notice is the sway bar is hitting that front track bar. You can tell where that's been. I don't know if you can see that. 
I need to figure out what's up with that. It did it on both sides. You can tell where it's been rubbing there. So that's no good. I don't know if that whole track bar or the sway bar needs to slide forward. I don't know. I'll have to let it down and then look at how everything sits with weight on it. Because obviously it's going to sit a little different unsprung. So but everything looks pretty decent. Nothing rotted or rust. It's either got the kind of original style undercoating or obviously this stuff is shinier over here. So once they were in here working on it, they did kind of touch it up, kind of protect it a little bit, which I appreciate. It's the bottom of the battery box. So yeah. I'll show you guys this when I got all the wheels on. Alright guys, got the wheels all put on the 65 here. Um, like I said, they are off of a 2000 GT Mustang. Um, I think they look pretty good. That's kind of the look I was hoping for. Except for the drum brakes there. <laughs> we'll get rid of those soon enough. And like I said earlier, I know there are some imperfections in the wheels. And like I said, I know they need to get cleaned up real good. I'll probably, I think two of the tires are pretty decent, so I'll probably get Two, I did order a rim. Tried bending that lip out and it just snapped off. But the actual tire is sealed on there. It's just the cosmetic ring. But either way, I got a new rim on the way. Get a couple new tires. And uh, like I said earlier, I got that gray paint for the center. I don't like that being silver. I'd rather it be a darker graphite like the original torque thrust were. So yeah, uh, just some more updates and work I'm getting done. I'll keep you guys posted as I go along. Um, haven't really got much done. So hopefully I can get back on stuff, get projects knocked out, and get you guys some content. See you in the next one.